Right, so okay, first things first, uh, I hope everyone is staying fit and well and uh, managing to find a way through this uh, situation right now. But one of the things it's done, it's probably taught us a bit of a lesson to say the least, but one thing it's done is uh, it's took away things that we take for granted. And one of those things, and perhaps a bit of a menial one, is golf. And uh, we realise how much we miss it when it's gone. Uh, I filmed my last video um, the day before the lockdown. And unfortunately, I was struggling in terms of content, so I had to come up with an idea on how that uh, A, I could relieve the boredom from a lockdown, and B, how I might be able to uh, get some content out in the weeks ahead. And by building this, I might just do both of those things. A few days ago I, uh, I had the idea to build a practice area in the back garden and uh, I started to do that and you're going to need a number of things and I'm going to show you how I ended up with this end product. So first of all, or maybe second, you're going to end up, you're going to need uh, a list of materials which I'll give you but you're also going to need an understanding wife because uh, I've stuck this in a fairly yeah, protruding part of the garden. It's not hidden by any means and uh, ideally the location would be sort of maybe at the back of a garage or a side wall would be absolutely perfect for it but for me uh, it ended up being here and there's a, a blossom tree that uh, also had to be cut down a little bit and uh, yeah kind of kept that one quiet a bit. No, nothing. I'm just, uh, just lighting a fire. It's, it's, gone, it's gone cold out here. So blossom tree out the way and uh, it's into materials. And before I go any further, here's a list of what you're going to need to make what is a three metre by three metre practice area. I'm also going to say that uh, I talk about a budget here and you'll see the list of materials there, £187, which uh, for the quality, for the galvanised steel and all the rest of it, it's, uh, it's okay in terms of price, but it's by no means uh, low on budget. And you can probably do this a lot cheaper, but I've built this with, in terms of galvanised uh, steel work because I want to keep it outdoor and I want to use it in the longer term. But like I said, there are probably more cost effective options. But anyway, first thing first is measure the pipe work, get it cut to size. Um, the company that I use, which I'll throw up for you now again, they will literally cut every size that you require if that's needed. So you don't even have to get the sort of hacksaw out. Um, but for me, it's quite simple. I built uh, a, a very basic framework. And really that framework is to fit the size and measurements of your net. Although I will say that from the bottom end, so the bit that's uh, at the bottom of the net, just leave a little bit of hang there because you want a little bit of excess material which will help you in terms of deadening uh, the, the, the impact of the ball um, when, when you strike the ball. So that's something to just bear in mind. But for me, you can see it's a case of putting together once you've cut your sizes of, uh, of galve pipe to size, then it's a case of these very simple uh, brackets, again, available in all different shapes and sizes buy them to build your frame and shape that you want and it's an allen key adjustment just to put those together and then it's a case of attaching it to the wall so again very very simple a few drill holes uh, use those clamps i've attached in four positions onto the wall to keep it nice and secure but you could run the two legs right and left right down to the bottom and if you're hitting on if you're securing to maybe a concrete base then it might be ideal to secure them to the bottom as well but again that's something that's very much up to you Right, next thing, get that netting out. Once you've got the netting out, I would suggest that you start on the top bit, you start in the middle and work your way outwards. And it's a case of cable ties, get a heavy duty cable tie. Again, I included them in the price of materials that you're gonna need at the beginning and start to put that together. And really, and pinning down the sides as well. And like I said, just leave that little bit of excess hanger at the bottom and that'll give you just that little bit, just takes a little bit of the impact blow. What you don't want to do is make it taut, tight and end up creating a trampoline and uh, getting yourself a good old whack in the face. So don't do that. So that is it, that's net built. That's all you need to do. But for me, it was something that, like I said, it's in, it's in a prominent position in the garden. I just wanted to tidy it up, make it a little bit more presentable. So it was a case of uh, a trip to, uh, or click and collect, I didn't go anywhere near the place, uh, B&Q and ordered the sort of wooden 
timber framework that you can see and again very easy to put together it's just some basic framework built on either side of uh, of the framework itself attached again to the wall and again it's just clad very simple cut to size clad those things in and it just tidies it all up a bit and looks a little bit pretty and hopefully keeps everybody on side low i'm not convinced that uh, it'll ever get the thumbs up from the wife but for me like i said what it's done it's a uh, got a great practice area for me in the longer term something that i really like the idea of uh, and something during the short period that gets you out in some fresh air get some practice my dad lives just uh, across the way there so he can come and have his uh, one hour a day or whatever it is he's allowed to come out the house he can uh, have a bit of a practice in there as well and uh I think that, like I said, I'm pretty pleased with the way this has come out. I think it's a good option and hopefully it might be, be some benefit to you as well. One thing I didn't mention was the matted area on the floor. I had a practice mat area that I've used and you can see in place now. You don't need to go to that expense at all. And again, here's another link for someone on uh, Amazon where they're selling a basic piece of uh, artificial grass turfed area. This was, uh, I think it's 12 99 I can't remember what I dug up, but there's lots of options for you to create a hit in air, which is perfectly adequate. And I think really, like I said, you can practice your short game. You can hit driver into this net that I've missed a key important part. Don't let me forget this. The netting I've used is not golf netting. And it's a big, and it's, I can't believe that I forgot this because it's really key to this. I used a company, and as you can see in the materials, it was a company called Networld Sports, and it was the most expensive, or one of the most expensive parts of this whole thing. And I spent near £100 on the netting. And the netting is not golf netting. It's used in archery. And I cannot understand why this is not made more readily available in terms of golf netting, because I think it's better. So we all know what golf netting looks like. It's generally green in color, and it's, uh, it's a crisscross pattern, whatever you want to call it, whatever the wording for that is. And it's okay, it does a great job, uh, but you generally need a couple of layers of it to kill the ball in terms of deadening it on impact. But with this, it's very closely knit. Um, it is, like I said, it's for archery, it's for obviously arrows and take the impact of an arrow. And for me, it's much more robust and it takes the impact of the ball far better. I don't know how it compares to the green netting, but I do know it's far superior. And like I said, what I was building here was something that would work in the longer term, not just to see me through this short spell, hopefully short spell of, uh, of coronavirus. But anyway, that's what we ended up with. That's what we've got. I'm more than happy with that. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, there's one thing I need. I don't have a launch monitor. Uh, so if anybody out there that watches has got a launch monitor that they want to borrow me, and I doubt there's anybody out there that's going to part with one of them right now, that's what I could do with if we're going to get some videos done and start collecting some data in my new practice facility. Anyway, more importantly than all of this right now, it's just about uh, taking care, keeping healthy. And uh, if you don't want to spend 200 quid in building a net, then do what lots of others have done, and that's hang a quilt on the washing line. And as long as you're not whacking it into next door neighbor's garden and killing anybody, then get whacking balls into, uh, into a quilt on the line. Whatever it takes to get you out hitting some golf balls and keep you sane over these next few weeks. So like I said, just uh, do everything we should be doing, take care, and hopefully we'll be back on those fairways sooner rather than later.